Hi, this is Kelly Kaiser Witt for Earth Sky. Modern people will travel thousands of miles to view an eclipse, but eclipses of the past were unfamiliar and unnerving. Here are some examples from fiction of the intense feelings eclipses inspired. In Paradise Lost, written between 1658 and 1663, John Milton wrote, As when the sun, new risen, looks through the horizontal misty air, shorn of his beams, or from behind the moon, in dim eclipse, disastrous twilight sheds on half the nations, and with fear of change perplexes monarchs. In 1889, in a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court, humorous Mark Twain wrote of one Hank Morgan who, after a blow to the head, was transported back to old England. He used his modern knowledge to fool people into thinking he was a magician, but some, especially Merlin, were jealous of Hank's success. Luckily, just as Hank was about to be burned at the stake for his magic, he was able to foretell an eclipse and save himself. The rim of black spread slowly into the sun's disk, Twain wrote. The multitude groaned with horror to feel the cold, uncanny night breezes and see the stars come out. And here's one more dark view of solar eclipses from the 20th century British writer Virginia Woolf. She wrote of a 1927 eclipse in her diary. It became darker and darker as at the beginning of a violent storm. The light sank and sank when suddenly the light went out. We had fallen. It was extinct. There was no color. The earth was dead, Wolf concluded. Do you plan to witness the April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse? What feelings do you think it might inspire? Tell us in the comments below.